Lord the Lord. Simpsons was I do a Simpsons podcast and I do another podcast. I, do, I basically do two shows a week and it's taking up all my fucking time. Uh, so this is my this is my first time up here. I'm really nervous. I am trying to picture all of you guys naked, but uh, decades of like TV and drinking have withered my imagination. The best I can do is picture you guys without your shoes. Uh, thank you for those not wearing socks. I love. But anyway, long story short. Uh, I wrote this material like 10 minutes ago. I don't remember it yet, so if I uh, use my cheat sheet, just pretend I'm back in high school. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, by the way, my name's Jack. I'm from Staten Island, New York. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah no, me too. <laughs> uh, Staten Island, it doesn't matter whether you're uh, black, white, Muslim, Hindu, chances are you're probably a Guido. <laughs> Tourist attraction is the boat out of there. <laughs> Staten Island, where uh, Hurricane Sandy decimated my neighborhood and uh, about two dozen people died. The rest of the city said, Good. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I come from a real white trash neighborhood, Midland Beach. Um, <laughs> I'll try to be PC. A white refuse neighborhood. Uh, Hurricane Sandy destroyed us, nobody noticed. FEMA came in, they said, uh, oh, don't worry, we'll get this Honda Civic out of your front lawn. Like, no, that was there. <laughs> That's our Feng Shui. Uh, yeah, no, real white trash neighborhood. You know you live in a white trash neighborhood uh, when the biggest sale, the biggest product in your yard sale is the prescription meds from your medicine cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me after the show. I can make 20 bucks. Um, God, I had some other white trash jokes, but I forgot them. And I didn't write them down. I didn't write them down. Um, Grew up with my uncle, Uncle Frank, uh, and he's a crackhead, unfortunately. Um, and, you know, he did a decent job raising me up here, uh, but it, it sucks living with a crackhead. Um, especially, you know, he was he was sober for the first, like, ten years. That's why I can walk and talk. 
Um, but when you got back in the habit, you know, you don't quite realize it right away. It just have, like little things are off. You know, you go, you, you know, you want to have a, a yogurt, you go to the, the, the drawer and there's, oh. the spoons are gone. And it's like, I have, I have forks. I could have sworn I bought spoons with the forks. It was a package deal. He legit, like, stole, like, three slices of bologna out of the fridge to, uh... He, uh, he's in jail now. He, uh, broke into a, a Krispy Kreme with a hammer. Uh, true. It wasn't exactly the Thomas Crown affair. Um, but he's in, uh, now he's got better health insurance than me, so... Christ. Um, oh, hey, yeah, I'm doing a podcast. That's why. That's why uh, I haven't been up in a year and a half. Uh, it's these two weekly internet shows I do. One about the Simpsons. One about the '90s. Uh, and it sucks because you're really opening yourself up to a lot of criticism. The internet is a horrible place. I get a lot of tweets. Uh, and you know, I've done stand up with these guys. I've done stand up. Uh, you develop a thick skin, and I ex expect certain insults. You know, Jack's not funny. Jack's got a weird voice. Uh, you know, Jack's never seen a hairline. Um, but I didn't expect the specificity of some of the comments these guys made, these fucking tweets. Uh, one guy, this is 100% true, I just want to get this off my chest because it was like a week ago. One guy literally said, I'm assuming it's a guy, I mean, uh, it, it could be a girl, but I'm guessing it's like a fat guy living in his parents' basement. Um, he said, he said, he said this, he said, um, I, uh, I knew this used car salesman who once told me a story about how uh, he was stuck in a blizzard and he saw a homeless woman across the street. Uh, and he and his friend went out and started throwing snowballs at her. And the guy couldn't stop laughing as he was telling the story. Jack reminds me of that guy. I was just like, ooh, go back to the receding hairline. That is fucking rough. Oh, man. Oh, I skipped all my jokes about how I uh, haven't done stand-up in I'll do them anyway. Uh, I haven't, just pretend this is the first minute of my set. I, uh, I haven't done stand-up in 18 months. The last time I did stand-up, Feel the Bird meant uh, something when you were taking a piss with chlamydia. Uh, you know that been really funny like three minutes ago? <laughs> last time I did stand-up, uh, I thought Zika was the new messaging app. <laughs> Anyway, um, Christ Almighty. Um, Not yet. Yeah, I try to. I try to be. Uh, I try to be really friendly on the internet, warm. I try. I don't want people to make fun of me. Uh, I try to be very PC. I will never, ever, ever, ever use the N word. Uh, I don't even like saying any word with a double G in it, just to be safe. Uh, I try not to even say bigger. I will always use larger instead. I'll say something like, black men have larger penises than white men. <laughs> just to be safe. Um, speaking of which, uh, <laughs> speaking, speaking of big penises, get ready guys. Um, this is uh, advice to all uh, the women out there or men that have boyfriends. Uh, and, uh, if you're going out shopping with them, you shop with them time to time. Uh, and you're buying condoms with them. Uh, don't ask if we need Magnum condoms. If we need Magnum condoms, we will tell you. That will come up. Nobody, nobody has an average size penis and is, uh, and yeah, we, if you're using Magnum condoms, you will find out within the first 25 seconds of meeting us. It will come up somewhere between, this is my name, and do you watch Game of Thrones? <laughs> Yeah, no, you don't need to ask that. It's not like a collar size. It's, it's not something we forget. Is my penis big? How big is it? Is it, is it average? There's daggers. There's short swords. Um, I have so much stuff on how average my penis is, but I feel like this is not the crowd. <laughs> uh, boy. Um... Yeah, no, I, I, I'm just joking. I haven't used a condom in 15 years. Um, no, I don't. It's uh, every time I have sex, like when I'm about to come, it's like that tractor scene in Footloose. Like, <laughs> jump! <laughs> I pull out is what I'm saying. Um, for those of you 
Um, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, if, uh, oh man, I had a really good follow-up and it's just gone. If, uh, my first kid's name would be Friendly Fire. If, uh, that wasn't it, trust me. If, um, yeah, no, instead of asking, uh, was it good for you, I asked, did I get you? <laughs> oh, man. I really thought talking about how average my penis was would get so many laughs. My girlfriend can't stop yucking. Um, Alright. Right. Um, I really gotta start living a healthier life. I'm turning 32 uh, next Saturday. Uh, it's not, you know, I, yeah, things are kind of slowing down. I can't really eat and drink the way I used to. Uh, so, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm going to the gym. I just signed up for a gym. Uh, I got a Fitbit last week. Oh, wait, let me rephrase that. I threw out $80 last week. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I don't get it. You would think the material I wrote in the car on the way here would kill. <laughs> It was that PQ brilliance. It doesn't quite. Uh, I, I, uh, I forgot two of mine. Oh yeah. Let's <laughs> 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 What's the deal with grandkids, huh? <laughs> What's the deal with grandkids, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, yeah, no, no. I'm trying to be healthier. I switched from Bud Light to Bud Light Lime. <laughs> Trying to get some vitamin C. Like that scurvy? Shit, I need my notes back. I don't know. Um, it's it's really guys. It, it's I want to get, get another round of applause for the rest of the comments that I've been up yet. It is really do the applause first. It's really fucking hard to write jokes and to make people laugh uh, intentionally. It's not so hard unintentionally, obviously. Uh, no, it's really hard. My role model is the guy that wrote the first knock-knock joke. Like, knock-knock joke is the most cliché, lame fucking joke you can do right now. Everybody knows it. Um, you know, I say knock-knock, you say... Who's there? Yeah, now, everybody knows this. But the guy who did it the very first time, that was groundbreaking shit. <laughs> you know, I can imagine just being like, Hey, hey, Todd, Todd, come over here. I got this new joke I've been working on. Todd's like, all right, yeah, what's up? So he goes, all right, Todd, you ready? Knock knock. Todd, Todd looks at him. Todd looks at him and goes, I don't get it. <laughs> no, 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 Todd, 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 you gotta say who's there. Oh, alright, alright. All right. Uh, who's there? Orange. Todd looks at him. I, I still don't get it. I'm sorry. No, 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 you say orange too. Todd's like, who's fucking who's telling the fucking joke? <laughs> I like to imagine if the uh, first knock-knock joke had been written in a five-story walk-up, it would probably be more like, uh, you go and you press the button. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> Interrupting cow. All right, come on up. <laughs> All right, hello. Uh, I think that's about it for me. I think I'm going to wrap it up. Um, by the way, I was flirting with you. My penis is average and I take too long to pull out. You want to go see Jungle Book? <laughs> Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Give it up for Chapter Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah.